first of all, boss, uh, you, um, you're preaching to a bunch of people who only can see you in one light. And you're preaching to a bunch of people who only see you as a nigga. A bunch of people who cannot see you as better or smarter because you're just as brown as they are. So you're just a nigga. Um, the Willie Lynch mentality is also based on labels. You know what I mean? Labels. Black man, white man, uh, Chinese man. Uh, on your driver's license, black American or other. Come on, man. Every every aspect of society is based on a label. Think about it. Most of our lives, all we've heard is niggas ain't no good. That's basically part of the Willie Lynch mentality. See what I'm saying? And it's most prevalent in Germany. You think about it real hard, what the Jews and the Germans went through. Now, the Jews had jobs and some money because they would hire only Jews or, or, or they would only hire their own people. So when the economy of Germany started taking a tank, all you see is these Jewish people working. Thus, think about it. The Willie Lynch mentality was big time there. Hitler only wanted the, the blonde, the blonde hair, blue eyes. That's another part of the Willie Lynch mentality. The mentality is not just used on blacks. It is a human program to be used on all humans because those in power ain't got to worry about that. Those in power don't care because they got there. It's like the old saying my, my grandmother used to say, stop acting a fool in school because the teacher got hers. You just got to go get yours. And half of those white teachers didn't want to be in the schools. They didn't want to be around so-called black people. That's what you see every day. There's always some complaint about some little black kid, some little black kid doing this, some little black kid doing that. Hold on. Boy, you dropped something else back here. You on your own, baby. Get your ass up out of here. Go. Get over there. Get over there, Romeo. Little furry bastard. Get over there. Look, it's right here. There you go. So that mentality placed upon a group of people is what we're dealing with right now in society. You go look at Africa. All these 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 weapons are shooting in. They, ain't, they don't make no guns in Africa, do they? If, if they make guns in Africa, somebody needs to let me know. Because I'm talking out the side of my neck. Do they make weapons at all in Africa? So then where do these weapons come from? The United States of America, China, and Russia. Why do three biggest powers want to shoot weapons in Africa? The Willie Lynch mentality. Kill off these, let them kill themselves. And then we'll walk in and take care of the ones left over. Then they'll be beholding to us because we hooked them up. We brought them out of the darkness because of what their own people did to them. So you have to look at a whole bunch of different intangibles when you come to plots to destroy a group of people because as a human being these subplots and plots are placed on us so we can destroy ourselves there's a bigger picture not just black and white it's a human picture human beings hurting human beings for human beings think about it the whole mentality of me being better than you was placed upon other people saying they're better than me and you have to do that. It's like, I'm better than you. No, I'm better than you. Then they have competitions. The competition is to show one person being better than the other. See, a black man can't play quarterback because he don't have the mindset to be a quarterback. Black man can't coach because he doesn't have the mindset to put people in places in the situation to win. A black man can't. We've been pushed on us and pushed on us. Until a lot of us feel like we can't do nothing. And the only time we ever get over is getting over on someone not as smart as we are. Somebody who has a, a lot less than we have. Thus, the divide gets bigger. Because now there's a group of people who can't do anything who are outdoing a group of people who believe that they can do everything. But they can't outdo these group of people who can't do nothing. There is no logic in that, but what I'm trying to get to the point is this. 
The Willie Lynch mentality is a human condition. It's placed upon humans to do humans. You figure out this whole thing, it's like, why would a group of people, regardless of what color or shape they are, destroy each other? We have no reason to destroy each other, but yet and still we do it every day for monetary means, for, for, for physical uh, posturing. We, we destroy other people to make ourselves feel better because that's how we were taught. You have to put somebody down in order to be up, and that's wrong. That's completely illogical. Now, if I was some evil ruler, dictator, wanted to take over, over the whole world, how would I do it? I would take over the world by uniting everybody. I would unite everybody under me. Thus, they would be beholden to me because I gave them everything. I brought them unity. I brought them kind. I brought them compassion where there was none. And then they would follow me through the end of the galaxy. They go to the moon for me without a space suit on because I've done so much great things for them and their people. But there is no entity like that on this planet. There's not one person who wants to step up and try to do for the people of the planet. These people and their different organizations I'll do for my people in this organization. And this organization might want these people eliminated. This organization might want these people enslaved. This organization might want these people forgotten about. Think about it. Divide and conquer. Not divide and conquer a people. Divide and conquer a species. That's the human species. You understand what I'm saying? If there's not that many humans around, those in charge got all the power in the world because they had to worry about a group of people rising up against them because they're all so fractured and so selfish and ignorant all in the same manner that it's pitiful. You cannot get a group of people to unite over one person because the person must fit their demographic, their look. In other words, if I want to take over the world, I got to get a face so everybody can, okay, I'm cool with this person. I'm cool with that person. Get it? you got to please everybody in order to take over. But you can take over through war. You can take over through uh, famine. You can take over through uh, uh, pretty much any, You can take over this planet through any reason as long as you add the human, the human aspect to it, the human failure to uh, approve of anything other than themselves, the human con you add the human conscious to any situation and you can take over because we have feelings and once our feelings are guided in a certain direction you can't change a human's mind, you can't change a human's thoughts, you can't make this person believe what is true because he's believed what is wrong for too long and there's no evidence to prove that he's wrong you see what I'm saying? In order to destroy the human race, you must have to divide and conquer the humans within their own pockets of of uh, comfort. You have to divide. You have to destroy a person's comfort zone in order to destroy the person. First of all, you break their self-esteem, you break their will, and then you give them no one to look towards, so they're just lost. And when you get all these things that I just said and put them together, what do you come up to? You come up to 2010. That's what you, you come to what's going to happen, what's going down. You come to now. And like the brother said in the video, the Willie Lynch f uh, philosophy is strong amongst the black community, but it's even stronger in a global sense. I got to go. I've been wasting too much of your time on this. Um, I'm still, uh, as you see, uh, editing videos for Tube Watcher. Um, thank you for your time, and thank you for sending me another great video to watch Sci-Fi. And I'll be watching more of these videos as long as you send them to me. I'll see you guys later, and if you find any knowledge in this, pass it on.